It's 1045. It means it's time for a little lights, camera, McCarthy. Yeah. Kevin meets Kevin. Yeah. But you've I, interviewed him before, so meet him uh, another time. Yeah, we'll but, and I've interviewed Kevin Hart multiple times over the years, so I've been very uh, aware of his grind and his work ethic uh, as a comedian, but also as an actor. And uh, he's in a new movie called Lift, which comes out this Friday on Netflix. He's uh, produced it with a producing partner of his named Brian Smiley, a, pro a production company called Heartbeat, uh, which is obviously a very clever mm -hmm. name. Uh, but in terms of what's going on in the news right now, uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Cat Williams had an explosive interview with Shannon Sharp uh, on a podcast recently where Cat Williams basically called out a lot of people in the industry, specifically comedians, specifically Kevin Hart, uh, insinuating that Kevin Hart is a plant mm -hmm. uh, in the Hollywood industry uh, and, you know, questioning his, uh, the way I re received his comments was it was questioning Kevin Hart's work ethic and yeah. how he got to where he uh, Whether where he, he even did. deserved to be there right. because he didn't have this extensive stand-up exactly. career prior to. And I found that really fascinating. So when I spoke to Kevin Hart and Brian Smiley, his producing partner, recently, I spoke to them yesterday, actually. I wanted to address this to Kevin Hart and get his perspective on it. Kevin had put out a great tweet recently that kind of uh, responded to it a bit, and I wanted him to expand. The only other time I've seen him comment on this recently was on NBA Unplugged, mm -hmm. where he made a quick comment to Kendrick Perkins. Yes. Um, but other than that, so I haven't really seen much about his response. So here he is talking more about the Cat Williams response. Also, Kevin's getting the Mark Twain Prize uh, later in, in March this year. He talks all about that and more. Here's Kevin Hart and Brian Smiley for a lift. Okay, guys, listen up. Our next score is going to be our biggest yet. Nice. Half a billion in gold is on his way to a terrorist cell. And the gold needs to disappear. What's your plan? We gotta steal it mid-flight. 40,000 feet in a year. In my opinion, there's nobody on the planet who promotes films the way you do. You are, there's something about your work ethic and the way you promote films, even to a point where you'll tweet out a response, like to the Cat Williams situation, while promoting your movie. Promoting which I thought movie. Was yes. A brilliant way to do it. You could have also responded with a Mark Twain link because you're getting the Mark Twain prize here in March. But I just wanted to get your perspective on that. You, I feel like you always respond positively yeah. to negative situations. And I wonder, you're, just your perspective on that and kind of, you know I know your grind. I've been interviewing you for years, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I know you work really hard. But what's your perspective on that and your response to that situation? Uh, I said it, and this this sums it up well. Like, you don't, you don't entertain the circus. You watch it, right? And when a lion comes out and rides the bike, you don't think about it too hard. You just go, okay, that's crazy. The lion's riding the bike. And then you go home and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I don't feed into the stuff at all at the end of the day it's it's all entertainment to a certain degree so you just hope that people can be smart enough and have a tremendous amount of logic to just go and possibly do research or fact check and if they do then great if they don't then two dose of that as well uh i just don't have the time for it there's too much going on so to your point while Parking and promoting a movie, uh, I think the biggest priority for me is getting my fan base to understand how excited I am about the work that I put into this, because that's where my focus is, is getting eyeballs to the thing that took me about four months to shoot and uh, even longer to develop and produce, and something I'm significantly proud of. Um, and I owe it to my team at Heartbeat and to my fans to deliver the material um, in the best possible manner. So so that's it for me. That's the that's the focus. Anything else outside of those things, uh, they don't really get an inklet of uh, I guess you say what's the word? Um, uh, Attention or engagement. Engagement. Attention. Yeah. Yes. It's impossible. It just hasn't been done before. If we don't do this, we go to jail. Plus, it's about saving lives. Come on. I don't appreciate the emotional blackmail. This is not emotional blackmail. It's blackmail. Blackmail. You know, Kev, uh, we're talking to you from D.C. right now. You're going to be here in March receiving the Mark Twain Award, uh, which is another indication of your hard work and your ethic and what you do. Um, what does that mean to you from a D.C. perspective to come to D.C. to get that award at the Kennedy Center? What does the Mark Twain Prize mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's massive, you know. Um, you know, I think it's something that will hit me more uh, as we get closer to the date. But just to be a part of a list um, that has so much, you know, prestige and, and uh, legendary work behind it. It's, uh, it's mind-blowing, right? Like, you, you do work hard, and, you know, 
I don't I don't do it to be celebrated or for for the accolades. But if they do come, it's like, oh wow, that's cool. Um, and this is one that I didn't expect, um, but I'm definitely honored to to have. So I can't wait to share that moment with my family, my team, my friends, um, with everybody that's been a part of this journey because it's not a Kevin win. I feel like it's a it's a us win. And you know, there's been a phenomenal amount of help and involvement from so many people around me that have helped me get to this this point in my career. So I think it's something that we all highlight and celebrate together. All right, so Kevin will be receiving the Mark Twain Prize uh, in March right here in Washington, D.C. His new movie, Lift, is in uh, Netflix this Friday. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Hashtag Good Day DC. Uh, the Cat Williams story is obviously a big story on the Internet right now. Uh, as somebody who's interviewed Kevin Hart for over 10 years or so, around 10 years, I, I've personally seen yeah. his work ethic and kind of his rise to where he yeah, is. And followed so his career much I, longer. I, I mean, yeah. I remember Soul Playing yeah. and him doing stand-up. I mean, I so. have my perspective on yeah. it, but uh, let us know your thoughts on it and Kevin's right research <laughs> fact check it's out there. look things up the dude has his whole career online take a look at it that's yeah, why he's yeah, getting a yeah. Mark Twain prize yeah, I do I, believe that's what I said to him <laughs> instead of responding with anything else respond with your Mark Twain prize link dude yeah that's yeah. why he started laughing so thanks, thanks to Kevin Hart well, guys Mark Smiley. great job right, there thanks guys